If you're already using Azure AI Search, you can create knowledge bases in your existing services and even reuse your existing indexes. Layering things this way lets us deliver the state-of-the-art retrieval quality that Azure AI Search is known for, combined with the power of knowledge bases and agentic retrieval. Now that we understand some of the core concepts behind knowledge bases, how does it actually work then under the covers? Well, unlike the classic rack technique that would typically use one source with one index, we can use one or more indexes as well as remote sources. When you construct a knowledge base, passive data sources such as files in one lake or Azure Blob Storage are indexed, meaning that Azure Search creates vector and keyword indexes by ingesting and processing the data from the source. We also give you the option to create indexes for specific SharePoint sites that you define while propagating permissions and labels. On the other hand, data sources like the web or MCP servers are accessed remotely, and we support remote access mode for SharePoint too. In these cases, we'll effectively use the index for the connected source for data for retrieval. Surrounding those knowledge sources, we have an agentic retrieval engine powered by an ensemble of models to run the end-to-end -end query process that is used to find information.